Welcome. A lot has happened, right? A lot has been happening here with a message. It's time, right? It's time. We know that Pluto went retrograde May 1st in Aquarius. And now we've had our pre numbra lunar eclipse in Scorpio. It's a time of transformation. We're in the time of transformation. I transform. But what are, what are we in the time of transforming? We're in the time of transforming who we are, what I am, who I am, I am, right? This has to do with the first house and how we express and connect with the rest of the world, ourselves from within to without. And we know that Aries is the child of the Zodiac. There's honoring the inner child here. There's the connection to children as well as expanding with children and also being in a very fertile time. We're in a very fertile time up here in the Northern Hemisphere. It's still spring and we're getting ready to enter summer here shortly. And there's a lot of mating going around. So there's, there's a connection to children within and without. So one of our channel messages here, the main one, is we're healing from the devil energies and separation, the separation between the masculine and feminine. This is being, we're being put in situations, okay? We're being put in situations that are causing us to feel separate. Causing us to feel separate and then we're getting caught in obsession. You know, this is being healed, this is being able to heal from OCD. This is being able to heal from constantly obsessing on separation, what's negative. You know, with frantic energy, this is just like where we're creating with frantic energy. We're worrying. We're constantly focused on the negative, what's not going right. You know, this is where we're caught in the storm. And we've forgotten how to be in charge of our energy, to be in charge of ourself. This is also being able to look at too like let's look at here what are we doing what are we doing that is causing separation because there's patterns right now that we're creating with that are causing separation but we're being gifted the chance to see to see what these are so that we can transform the self and how we connect with others because we're laser focusing on working with the first house and the seventh house with our connection to the eleventh house now, the first house is how we connect from within to without with others. The seventh house is the house of partnerships. And then we have the 11th house working with Aquarius and how we all how we all come together. And the Empress is helping us. And there's a six of wands victory here. And this is our connection to working with Aries, to working with this fire power, the element of fire, working with the father. And you can feel it. This is healing. This is healing. And the Empress is giving, gifting us this. I want you to see the imagery here. Look at the imagery in the Empress. Look at our victory. And look at where we started off. And what we're healing from. Where we're starting to where we're going. And it's through the Six of Wands. So we're acting on picking healing. We're acting on picking moving forward. We're acting on this transformation of who we are. And then there's a Six of Cups activation. There's a growth here between the masculine and feminine being honored. There's a growth here. But as you can see, look, the feminine is represented here, but we know we're using the masculine. We're using force. We're working with the father. Something is shifting here. We're going to get some information as to what it is. But there's a completion here with the universe as we heal from strife and the king of wands the element of fire is going to push us literally force us we're being forced to move on but the moving on has to do with the seven of fire and that's valor and we're picking healing here 
we're battling back here look we're battling back but not in a fighting way because remember we're healing from strife we're healing from wrath we're laser focusing on the wrath template as we continue to do work with the lust and death templates we're putting the application of love everywhere we're healing from fear and right now we're in a massive time of healing from manipulation in order to express ourselves with spirit in order to express our true selves in order to express our authenticity and this has to do with accepting our shadows a massive massive piece of our shadow self is being has been illuminated with this this lunar eclipse and it was also on a 5 5 portal activation day as we know the lunar eclipse happened on may 5th of the fifth month it's not a coincidence and here we're working with the cups we're working with the element of water our connection to the lunar eclipse in scorpio and this has all been activated right and one of the main mes messages here is something is leaving something something or someone some that's connected to our patternings of separation that we must heal is separating from us is walking away from us but i'm being shown it's returning like a like a boomerang what's leaving is going to return like a boomerang but it has to do with the work that we are doing to create a harmony we're creating a negotiation a harmony through the center point we're restoring connection through harmony that's how we're healing from what's happening here with the separation that the devil energies is causing us and it's literally caused causing us to be in consumed in what's not working out to be consumed with the chaos to be consumed and like literally obsess and it's being able to rise above that this is being able to rise up like rise above this how this makes us feel and see the separation is an illusion and being able to connect within we're gonna connect within with the mother this connection is happening within and it's happening with us and our true self and we remember our counterpart our twin flame is us so we need to get back to self right now we need to get back to self and we need to do the work with self we're not going to focus on our twin without we're going to focus on ourself within and right now this has to do with actions being made to clear from separation to clear up this obsession this chaos this storm-like energy that we're not feeling in charge of but we are this is an illusion too we're seeing through this illusion and that we are in charge and this is all about an elevation with our energy but it's a harmony and remember a harmony is a negotiation that meets through the center point. It's a beautiful space and place where, where we create, where we create the heart with the harmonics of life. And it has to do with Aquarius and accepting another piece of our true self. Shedding away more of social conditioning, you know, the artificial hack of the artificial matrix telling us who we are and what to be. And this is getting into a deeper level of the jungle here. A deeper connection to our true selves. Now I want to get right away. I want to get some information on just what is shifting here. How does this come back like a boomerang? And as I'm saying that, I'm feeling called to not do it. You know what? We're going to wait on this. We're going to head... We're going to head on over to part two, scribed information. We're going to share some scribed information and talk about what's going on. And then we will expand off that. And we're going to get a card for how this is boomeranging, a connection to how this is boomerang, boomeranging back to us. Okay? So I'll meet you at part two, scribed information. Love you.